Hey guys, oh, welcome back to Part of My Imagination. My name is Jasmine and today I'm going to be giving you some book app recommendations. app recommendations and I'm gonna give these recommendations like okay so yeah we I'm in the booktube community um, I'm in the book community especially in technology and I feel like yes for the most part a lot of you are gonna know about these apps but for my viewers that aren't on book Twitter aren't on book Instagram and are only watching booktube um, you might not know about these apps so I just wanted to do a video and show what apps I use to read books and get books and keep track of all my books, right? So let's just get into it. And obviously the first book, which is not so obvious to a lot of people because I am in a few Facebook groups and a lot of people don't know about Goodreads. They track their books by just writing them down and they don't actually know about this app. And that app is Goodreads, right? So there are a plethora of issues <laughs> with Goodreads. But it is a main source for publishers to put out new books that are coming out. It's a way to also track books by different authors and honestly just like new books that are coming out and you can track books that you have read, you want to read, and there's just a plethora of things that you could also do with Goodreads and Good Goodreads List. I use Goodreads mainly as a tracking system. Um, and a TBR system. So I use it because I want to track books that I want to because if not my photo album literally is so jam-packed of photo like screenshots of books that I'm like oh I gotta get that book oh I gotta read that book and, and instead of taking up storage I use Goodreads. The next app that I use is Libby. Um, I feel like uh, uh, Libby is so new it used to be called Overdrive. Overdrive is still out you can still use Overdrive but a lot of um libraries are moving to Libby. So explain Libby. Libby is an app that are used by libraries. So if you take your library card and you you punch it into Libby, it'll tell you you can search your library so you'll know if, if they are even using Libby. Um, you'll put in your library and then you take your library card, you put your library information on there and your pin, and now you have access to this large electronic system Oh, let me stop waving my phone around. But you have the, you have access to all of these books that your library um, has put on digitally. So that includes audiobooks and Kindle books, or, or ebooks essentially. Um, and these this comes in so much handy. I love my Libby app. Like I love, 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 love Libby app. If you watched my last video, I will post it up here. Um, my TBR video. I let Libby determine my TBR because I will constantly just scroll and put it hold, 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 hold. And some of them come in in 12 weeks. Others come in like two weeks. Other ones are in a few days. Um, and it's just another way that if you, you know, don't have the time to go to your library, which I don't have time to go to my library. Um, this is another way to use my library without having to buy all of the books that I want to read. And it also just helps with reading the books that I do have faster because I can listen to them on Audible. Um, yeah, and it still operates just like your library. You have 21 days for the most part. I think most libraries are 21 days. So you have 21 days. If nobody is in line after you, you can re-put it on hold. And Libby just came out with this new, um, they just came out with a new feature where if it's on hold and you want to borrow it, but you are like swamped with books, you can extend out the date of when they want you to deliver it to your Libby app, which I think is really, really cool because you know, y'all be knowing Libby just be dropping them things on you like out of nowhere and you're like, slow down Libby, calm down. All right, the next app is also Overdrive. It's the same exact thing as Libby, but it's not as it's I feel like it's not as user friendly as Libby is but also you can use overdrive to um, upload like if you get arcs and things like that from NetGalley you can you can you should be able to use overdrive um, which leads me into my next app digital editions digital editions is a phenomenal app 
because you know how, well, maybe you don't know, but there is NetGalley, and NetGalley, for the most part, are eARCs that you can get for books, and when you request these eARCs, some of them, you can't transfer it over to your Kindle, or they won't open in OverDrive, and Digital Edit is a phenomenal app that you can download it into here. It, it automatically will convert that file so that you're able to access it. And I found this app simply because I could not, like there was, I could not find an app to open up Kindred um, by um, Octavia E. Butler. She has a graphic novel or they turned her book into a graphic novel. Um, I could not open this book for whatever reason and I ended up stumbling upon this app. So if you also have that issue, I would definitely check out Digital Edit. The next book is another library-ish app and it is Hoopla. And Hoopla is another, like I said, it's another library app. You have to punch in your library card. It will have your libraries on here. But the great thing about Libby, or not Libby, but Hoopla, is it has videos, music, book, and other books. Now, it's not the most popular because there are some books on here that they don't, they won't have the most popular books but the videos and the music on here is phenomenal because like whenever i'm like in a rush and like i have the girls with me i can just come on here and pull out a movie or a television that they might have on here and i can play the movie for them and it's all free it's all through your library like you know your library has audiobooks they have movies and dvds and music and stuff like that and i just thought like this is so free that you guys need to know about it. Like, get it, download it. All right, and the next app that I have, which is going to lead into, um, from free apps into apps that I pay for. Now, Bookly, which is the app that I'm talking about, Bookly is free, but it's also a paid subscription as well, or I just pay for the year. Um, I will have a link down below that you can use my invitation link um, and you'll get 30% off. You don't have to. You can just go to Libby and download it and, you know, pay for it if you want to. But you get up to 10 books for free. Why I love Libby. I love Libby because it's, one, a phenomenal way to track my books. So what you do is you go on here. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and screen record so that you can watch what I'm doing because it's, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Okay. So when you open up Libby, you can add a book on the top, top left hand corner. You can add a book. So you can either scan your, scan the book or you can search for it or you can manually add it, right? So we're just going to search a book and what are you going to do? What are you gonna, we're going to do Red Rising because I love Red Rising. And I have read this book already, so yes. Then I can choose which one I want. I'm just going to go ahead and pick the first one. Now, I would probably double check the, the page count, but for the most part, that's the page count. Now, on the bottom, you can, chip, you can switch between pages, percentage, or audiobook. Audiobook, I... I, I never change it there. And then you can also mark if it's in, pro in progress or read in the past, right? So then I save the book. Bam, now it's there. You can start reading. When you start reading, you can add quotes, countdowns, thoughts, words. You can even come on here where say I read one page and you can share it. When you scroll up, it has phenomenal things. It tells you how long based on the amount of pages and how long you're reading and you're, if you actually track it on here it tells you how long it's going to take for you to read this book um literally it is i love it you can also put end goals on when you want the book to finish so it's great for if you if you're a tbr creator kind of like princess over at castle library she does it where she plans every week what book she's going to read and she divides the book pages up for every day that she needs to read it's phenomenal and Bookly is like, I love Bookly. I love it so much. It's amazing. And you can put it in categories and things like that. And I want to say that it is, I want to say for the year it's $20, but it might be $9.99. But like I said, if you use the code down below, you will get 30% off. The next app that I have is Kindle. 
And Kindle is free, essentially, but you have to pay for the Kindles that you buy. Not all of them. There are some books on Amazon that you can get for free. But um, this is an obvious app because I feel like everyone knows Kindle, but for the people that don't know what Kindle is and you don't own an actual Kindle tablet, you can have the Kindle app on your phone. Um, yeah, it's just another digital um storage where you can buy books and things like that um and i feel like everyone pretty much uses kindle so maybe not the best one to tell you all right and the last two books are book subscriptions um and that is audible and scribd audible is ran through amazon like i said um and it's just audiobooks like you can purchase a book um, audibly and I do believe that this is also $9.99 a month or $7.99 a month don't quote me because I can't remember but yes audible is just a great way to get audiobooks and lastly Scribd. Scribd is a service that you can pay for I believe it's $7.99 um, there was a couple months ago there was like this huge hype and push for script because it was unlimited audiobooks unlimited books you know and then come to find out it's more of a you can get like one new release that month and then like a popular ish book and then after that they limit to how many popular and new releases that you can get in the month but it, it still does have an array of open books that you can get, right? But I do just want to inform you about that, that it I know it says you have unlimited books, but it is limited on the new releases that in popular books that you can read in a month at a time. But yes, it has audiobooks, um, books, documents, magazines, and um, sheet music. So if you play an instrument, I guess. But yes, those are all the apps that I have on my phone that I use constantly all the time in within the books that I own with my Libby. Um, Libby being the main one that I use um, because for the, for the most part, I don't need Audible because Libby has it. But that's all that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed and you don't have to if you don't want to. But like I say in all my videos, if you did not enjoy this video, I really don't.